Steven Goskowski set to kick off. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And this carries into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Stand 10 at their own 26-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. On first and ten, it's Ryan. This one caught by Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 26 A good pick up there, 26 yards. Atlanta. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. To throw is Ryan. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. Looking downfield for Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. It's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 16. First down, Falcons. On the carry, here's Smith. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the 25 on second down, Ryan. That's going to be caught. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Touchdown. It's Calvin Ridley on the receiving end from Matt Ryan. And the Falcons draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Sterling Hoprichter to kick off for the Falcons. So with a missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Titans take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Tannehill on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Eric Henry. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 27 yard line. from the 27 now. Here's second and three. A 
shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it. And it won't help him at contract time. Complete to Derek a three yard loss. A Fourth three down yard now. Loss well, you play. can see what they wanted it's to do. They wanted down. to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. He will find Davis. That's complete. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And he will find Ridley, that's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Now it's Ryan. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. It's Calvin Ridley on the receiving end from Matt Ryan. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Now Ryan leading the Falcons up to go for two. Conversion. Ryan. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. They didn't want the tie. They roll the dice and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Forget tying the ball game and feeling like we're just hanging with you. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one-point lead, and it just changes the complexion of the whole game. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. And this will make it into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Their lead, they have seen it evaporate completely after such a good first half. They've been shut down here in the third quarter. Searching for answers, trying to figure out what it's going to take to get back to where they were before. The big part of it is that sometimes you don't have to go exotic now. You go back to basics. Being able to run the football, string some things together, some effective passes, try and get a rhythm established again, and try and get back in the lead. Back in the lead, like you said, back to the basics. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. Derrick Henry. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We're back now in Nashville. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter play. the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner. We watch 
some drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now it's Tannehill. Over the middle to Smith. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 23 yards, the final tally. Normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step for two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. To the air again, Tannehill. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That catch good for only a couple. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you are familiar without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. From the gun, here's Tannehill. The quick sleeve caught. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. But the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll run, it's Henry, and he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Titans are going to retake the lead. So a big two-point conversion attempt forthcoming for the Titans. They'll try and run it in with Henry. And he is not going to make it. So they won't be able to move this lead up to a touchdown as it'll remain a five-point ball game. Steven Goskowski is set to kick off. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first and ten, Ryan. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Complete. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he'll be brought down right around the 
the 37. Two, three, four three, yards, the pickup, first down. That was a pretty favorable situation down, there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On first down, Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing now is Ryan. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Here's Ryan. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Falcons. Seven yards, the pick up there. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws seven. underneath. They got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. 23 yard line. Ryan to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. Yeah, it's on. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Touch. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there. And what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league. And because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. Steven Goskowski set to kick off. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because this is exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. He's got his man on the crossing route. A good pickup there, 21 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now Ryan. He finds Smith out of the backfield and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. On first down, Ryan. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. The 20, 10, 5. Uh -oh. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced.
So the Titans bring the offense back out to go for two. They'll try and run it in with Henry. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six and then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Falcons take over first and 10. At their own. That's set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. that man again it's complete and out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45 give him 14 on that one and a first down first down Falcons here's Ryan to throw and he gets this one to Ridley complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. To Calvin Ridley. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. From the red zone now, here's Ryan on first down. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another try after the first down sack. Ryan going for it all. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Calvin's still a little time left on the clock, however. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shy of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. And oh, can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. Sterling Hochrichter to kick off for the Falcons. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Tannehill going to throw it. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Final score, Titans 39. Charles, 